Thank you for uh, coming on our show. I appreciate it. I'm a big fan of yours. Thanks for having me, pal. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're pals. Now we're pals. Now we're pals. There you go, bud. Uh, I didn't do that. Sorry. I, yeah. I know I should have. Next right, time. Well, next we'll time. Get we're there, pals. Yeah, yeah. yeah, by the end. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You, uh, uh, you are married to a, to a uh, gentleman who's British. Yes. And so you're living in London and, and raising a baby in London. Yes, we do like. Half and half, but we're in London right now. And how's that raising a kid in, in London? Is it what's well? It's like he was born in London and then we left for a while, and now he's 19 months, so his language is kind of exploding. Oh, and it's pretty cute, a British accent, baby. It's real cute. It is, right? <laughs> you, you, real cute. You're gonna want to keep that accent. Well, we're coming back to America, and so he's gonna lose it, but yes, he has a full British accent. Now he he's talks like British this. British. Yeah, he's gonna be like, hey, 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 where's my milk? Cup of tea. Where's the cup of milk yes. over here? <laughs> Bottle's empty. Yes. See? Yes. <laughs> that sounds just like your baby. Yeah. I mean, that sounds. So you are just like my baby. <laughs> I nailed it. Yeah. Uh, we got. Are that. you are you uh, homesick for anything in America? I, I am homesick for things, and it's also like it's it's all weird. It's so we speak the same language, but like the the culture is so different. You know, like. Even with the baby, like the we eat like what? When you're a baby, here you eat Lucky Charms. He eats Bovril. Do you know what that is? <laughs> Sounds delicious. Oh. Yeah. Would you like a bowl of Bovril? Yeah. A bowl. A bowl <laughs> would be bad. Hold on, I'm about to Bovril. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not far off. Okay. Is it like it's an oatmeal? A, uh, I wish it was an oatmeal. No, it's <laughs> like a beef gelatin spread. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's so you much worse than what you think it is. Give that to the baby? Yeah, the baby loves it. Baby loves Bovril. Bovril. Yeah. Hey, give me more Bovril over here. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's foul. Can That's I have really? some? Really? No, yeah. no, no, Bovril. No, you put it on, like, toast. It's like cow hooves and eyeballs. And it's like... <laughs> oh, stop it. Now, that is ridiculous. It is. It's like the stuff that doesn't make it into a hot dog. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's saying a lot. Yeah. Because a lot of stuff make it in there. Uh, anything. They'll put anything in a hot <laughs> They'll dog. They'll throw anything in a hot yeah, dog. Yeah, any old thing. Not. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then when you're there, it's like it's 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 beautiful. It's wonderful. It's like a vibrant, amazing city. I live in LA the other half of the time, which is like very different. But when I'm in London, I live in this little cute neighborhood. It's kind of like a village. And you go to the fish guy for your fish in the corner store for your paper towels and oh, whatever. Cute. It's like Beauty and the Beast. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah. your bell. Your bell. Yeah. <laughs> Every morning. Bonjour, hello. Yeah, no, it yeah. does sort of feel like that. Yeah. I miss Target. Ah, oh, they don't have Target. They don't have anything that even like From... remotely resembles Target. You can't go to one store for everything in that whole country. There's nothing like Target. Oh. No, that's a game changer. Oh. You go to Target, you go, oh my God. Oh my God, yeah. I didn't know I yeah, needed all this I don't need the Barbara anymore, are you kidding me? Let's go. <laughs> you got so many choices at Target. I mean, you can't go to one store for like, I don't know. Yeah. Garden furniture and socks. <laughs> you gotta go to yeah. two stores. You wanna go to, no, not in Target. You they got anything. it all backwards Yeah, there. and you just get a cart of stuff you don't even really need. But you do. But you do, you, you leave it. You didn't know you needed no, it. No, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have two cart it. I'm gonna two cart this. Oh, round. you're a double cart Target Sometimes, guy? Sometimes, yeah, yeah. The clothes is great. I love, what, what's the clothes? A cat and something? <laughs> I wish I knew. Does anyone know? Cat and Jack. Cat and Jack. Cat and Jack is Cat the best. Did you get everything Cat and Jack? Oh, I'm like, I'm, I'm, so I'm, Cat and Jack right now. I've squeezed into it. Yeah, I got like <laughs> half shirts. <laughs> uh, uh, well, let's talk about Fatal Attraction, okay? Yeah. This is a big deal. I mean, uh, obviously, there's a new adaptation based on the movie. Yes. Uh, you get the phone call, hey, we're doing Fatal Attraction. We want you to play the Glenn Close character. Yeah. Do you go, yeah, I'm, I'm going to jump into this? I go, why are you making remaking Fatal Attraction? Which I think is what everybody probably says when you hear about any sort of reboot of any kind. And then I read it, and I really liked what I read. And then I spoke to Alex Cunningham, our showrunner, and what she was trying to do with it, which is, I totally recognize, you don't want to touch classic things. But Fatal Attraction, it feels very 1987. And I'm, like, the biggest fan of the movie ever. Yeah, it still delivers, like, on Precious. every level, except... If you really boil it, boil it down. Wow. I didn't even do that. Wow. Wow. I didn't even do that. Wow. Okay. Lizzie Kaplan, <laughs> come on. Oh, Sucker punch like just right there. Actual you accident. Rick rolled us. <laughs> <laughs> you Rick rolled us. That was coming at Ooh, all. Oh, I did it. Woo. I'll see ya. If you really do boil it down. Yeah, yeah. I, when you boil it down, <laughs> you realize it's a story about a married guy who has an affair with the woman and. In 1987 audiences' minds, it was like, he makes one little mistake, and we need to kill that evil woman who has the audacity for sleeping with this perfect man. She is the villain. He is the hero. There's no 
wait a minute, he was married yeah. and she's clearly struggling with some deep mental illness. <laughs> yeah. So like, what is, uh, so our story, yes, it's a reimagining of Fatal Attraction, but for a modern audience. And yeah. it's set in modern and times. you get to dive in and actually really play with the character. Eight full hours. Yeah, eight episodes, all right, good. Yeah. I'm loving this. Yeah. Uh, I also, you were telling me backstage, you're getting a lot of questions when you're doing press for the show about uh, intimacy coordinator. Yes, this was not a job that existed a few years ago. Yeah. Like. So what, what? COVID swabber. It's like one of those. Like, yeah, oh, that, you're, that's your, okay. That job didn't exist. Yeah. Now I'm a professional yeah. COVID, COVID yes. swabber, yeah. So, so it's Fatal Attraction. It's an erotic thriller. It's not like a no. thrilling thriller. I mean, hopefully it's that too. But, it's, you know, there's like sex scenes in it. And now sure. you have this new person on set who's an intimacy coordinator. Now, myself and my co-star Josh Jackson, we've both been doing that type of thing a lot over the years. Yeah. Like, we're no strangers to, he did a show called The Affair for many years. Of course. I did a show called Masters of, of Sex. Sex for many years. Like, we done it, it's done our first rodeo, like we're old pros <laughs> at this kind of thing. We know how to do this sex. We know how to do that. But. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to do that. We know how to do that. Da, 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 da. <laughs> So back in the day when you would do an intimate scene, it was like you had a rough idea of what it was. Like they, it'll say in the script, like they make love or they make love on a bed surrounded by candles. Like they might tell you about things in the room, but in they the don't set. tell you much about like what you're, you know, yeah. doing. And then the men, if there's a man in the scene, would tie up his like, you know, parts in a, like a flesh colored sock. And the woman uh, would put like an adhesive patch on and they'd be like, good luck. And then <laughs> go. you just go for it. Yeah, act. Yeah, you'd like, you know, scat like a jazz musician. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you do it yeah. all? Well, no, no, no. Those days are over really now. Those days are over. It was kind of uh, terrifying to think about it like that now. But now, now, the way you do it is the script will be the same level of vague, you know, like they make love. Mm. And then an intimacy coordinator will come in and will write out a very detailed email, like granular detail of every <laughs> single moment of what that might look like. And then you talk about it a little bit, and then you send that document to your lawyers and your agents, <laughs> which, like, no matter how old you are, still feels like sending it to your parents. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then wow. you approve it, and then you go and you shoot the scene. It's, I actually brought an example, if you want to, from Fatal Attraction, oh, I'd love just to, to give you, like, a rough idea of what I'm... Oh, yeah. Our Let's intimacy, see, yeah, Erotic. Yeah. yeah. Just like get a little erotic in your seats right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the script says, Alex, that's my character, and Dan, that's Josh's character, make love. This is like a little snippet. It was much longer. Yeah, here we go. And no spoilers, we changed it a lot from this, but just to give you a little taste. Um, both Josh and Lizzie will be insinuating nudity and given modesty wear and padding for comfort and desensitization. <laughs> that was always weird to me because like, <laughs> I didn't ever see the purpose of the desensitization. Like you're not actually supposed to be like mashing your. Yeah, stop. Yeah, like there's a certain level of respect. That, you know, you, you keep hope. a safe distance. Absolutely. Desensitization. When Lizzie is on top of him, we will see her bare back and partial topless nudity, parentheses, her right side breast. <laughs> what about her left breast? Yeah. What if that's your, it's not your good side? Yeah, well. <laughs> we all have one better one. Her left breast will be masked by his arm positioning. <laughs> Covered. Yeah. When Dan is on top of Alex, we will see his buttocks. Ooh. <laughs> Just a good word. Buttocks. Yeah. Yeah, it's real sexy. This <laughs> This is like the sexiest thing I've ever read, right? <laughs> oh my God, the steam is coming off the uh, I know. And finally, the sheets will cover most rear nudity, but we may see partial batok on both Josh and Lizzie. Woo! <laughs> Guys. Paramount Plus. Get ready. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Lizzie Kaplan in Fatal Attraction. Take a look at this. How? 
How has she never brought you here before? How can a person work in the criminal courts building and never come to Andalini's? I just moved here last September, so. Why? Because you had to explain the cookies? Maybe I just, I like having desserts described to me. September, that's eight months. That's like 240-ish days. I'm here minimum three times a week, which means that since you moved, I have been here 90 times. It must be the place to be, I guess. Or just the place I always am. Lizzie Kaplan, everybody! <laughs> Fatal Attraction premieres this Sunday on Paramount+. Plus. More Tonight Show after the break. Stick around, everybody. Lizzie Kaplan! Hey, hey.